I now go to the question. As I said, it's a nice question, but a difficult one for me too. The question goes like this. Is praying to the saints considered idol worship? Should we keep statues of saints in the house? I repeat once again, is praying to the saints considered idol worship? Should we keep statues of saints in the house? Let me begin on a human level. I saw beautiful statues made of Punita Rajkumar. The pictures, beautiful pictures. I am told he was a very noble man, man known for the family. He died last year in the month of October. And we see pictures from of him. We see statues made of him. We made bust of him. What does it mean? His features, his figures remind us that a, such a man existed and he lived a noble life. So what about the statues of the saints? You know, perhaps generations to come cannot remember all the saints as they are. If I were to ask a small child, St. Francis of Assisi, she would smile, she won't recognize, or rather she won't be able to remember who is St. Francis because she has not seen St. Francis of Assisi. She has may not, the future generation may not remember Mother Teresa. So there's nothing wrong in making representations of art of the saints. Perhaps the drawings, pictures, icons, statues, these things we make. And we keep them in certain places to make us remind of them, of their qualities, perhaps even of their weaknesses, and how they overcome their weaknesses. At the same time, there's a to be inspired by their life. The second reason why we keep statues, perhaps we keep just also, in order to seek their inspiration and also their intercession for some of our needs. We are sure that they are in heaven. So therefore, we ask them to intercede on our behalf to the Almighty for certain favors that perhaps they can ask of us, they can ask because they are in such a intimate terms with the God the Father, God the Son and the Holy Spirit, Mother Mary, all the saints, that surely perhaps they, or rather we appealing to them, they would appeal to God themselves. And therefore, for the sake of intercession also, we keep the saints, statues, pictures with us. Is it idolatry? Perhaps it, it can be idolatry when I think that this particular figure is the person itself. For example, if I place the figure of the statue of Mother Mary and I say this is Mother Mary and I adore and glorify here as if she is really the person here, that is not correct. But as one who can inspire us, as one who can be an intercessor, surely she is useful and she is inspirational to us also. On the other hand, Mother Mary does not expect us to adore her in her statues in her this one. I can understand the questioner who is asking that some people are so perhaps obsessed by these statues that maybe a little of idol, idol worship takes place to the sense that I am so much attached to this statue, to this place, to this picture. But in reality, we have to understand that as Christianity and Christians themselves are not idol worshippers. And we don't worship stones and statues for the sake of this one, but for the remembrance as such. On the other hand, can you keep a statue in the house? I say certainly, certainly. You can keep the statue of the saints in the house for the same reason, to inspire you, perhaps the future generation, as the house saints may have looked like because some of their physical representations are still with us and we can make a drawing and make a statue of them. Uh, secondly, I said they could be inspirational. Perhaps the child, mother can explain to the child, this is St. Teresa and you know what she has done, what she was doing. Please read her book, please read her this one. Thirdly, as I said, intercession. Perhaps there are some of us who have a special love for the saints. You know, I love St. Anthony. I love St. Joseph. So therefore, whenever situations come of certain this thing, I pray to St. Joseph. I say, St. Joseph, you know that beautiful statue of St. Joseph sleeping. I mean, St. Joseph has just left everything to God. 
I said Saint Joseph please help me also I am in a problem I am going to sleep today but see that my problem is solved and I am sure Saint Joseph will intercede for me so therefore this is the way to do and as I said I keep the photo of my mother under my pillow perhaps I might even kiss it does it mean that it's idol worship that I am going to this one my mother inspires me i remember her when i look at her photo at my father's photo perhaps i have immense memories down the lane that go by and that is the way my positively how do we give our do or other how we do we sort of take the saints into consideration many of us perhaps put a picture or put a small flower a candle something to say that to draw me to that particular representation of of paper of picture of the statue so that it also helps me to pray we also incense the statues we also perhaps decorate the statues for the same reason that we are human we are physical we like to touch we like to see we like to hear and therefore these things help us in our spirituality by no means they should be means for idolatry for us christians so my dear friends i am very happy that we have begun this month and i am sure this month will be a fruitful month a graceful month for each one of you god bless you